The African People's Socialist Party condemns the recent slanderous attack on our movement for reparations and black freedom by a white nationalist YouTube personality by the name of Andrew Callahan. We think it is important to condemn this attack on our movement at a time when African people are being gunned down by the police every single day and forced into prisons, when the wealth gap has massively widened between the white population and African population, when we have borne the brunt of the COVID-19 pandemic with so many of our people dying and suffering. In a period of history when the righteous demand for reparations has risen up as one voice in our community and has also won support from millions of white people, we find it reprehensible that Callahan would try to ridicule a historic march for white reparations to African people in order to fan the flames of white nationalist violence against the African community. We are the revolutionary party of the African working class, the vanguard of the colonized and exploited black people dispersed around the world, fighting for our freedom and independence from white colonial rule. Our presence and organization spans the globe from North St. Louis to South Africa. The African People's Socialist Party created the Uhuru Solidarity Movement as the organization of white people in solidarity with black power working under our leadership to extend the struggle for African liberation into the white colonizer population. We did this based on our understanding that all white people owe reparations to African people and that white people's access to wealth, opportunity and security has come at the expense of 600 years of looting, slavery, pillage, rape and colonial oppression of African people, as well as the genocide of the indigenous people and theft of their land. The African People's Socialist Party called on the Uhuru Solidarity Movement to build a national day of marches and rallies for reparations on October 16, 2021, a continuation of a long tradition of building marches for reparations spanning back to the early 1980s. Successful marches were held in St. Louis, Missouri, St. Petersburg, Florida, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Portland, Oregon, and Oakland, California. At the march in Oakland, Callahan deployed an African man to pretend to be a news journalist in order to mock the reparations march and ridicule its participants. This is another despicable and cynical ploy by the white Callahan using the tactic of neocolonialism or white power in black face that has been used by the colonizers historically throughout the world to crush our just struggle for liberation. Neocolonialism is the use of an African agent to do the bidding of the colonizers, an African who either out of ignorance or willing collaboration with white power can no longer see his interests as being the same as his own colonized community. We condemn the use of this neocolonialist to try to ridicule our struggle for the return of the stolen wealth that has been taken from us for hundreds of years to enrich the white world at our expense, especially now at this critical time in history when the resistance of our people following the murders of Mike Brown, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and others have galvanized the world to unite us in our struggle for freedom and justice. Callahan mocks the campaign to raise funds for a basketball court in the black community in North St. Louis. It is revealing of the privileged position of the colonizer with access to resources to find it extraordinarily funny when millions of Africans are trapped in the cesspools of the colony, forced to use makeshift courts in the streets to play a simple game of basketball. Callahan does not target or mock a system under which our children are locked into these dire straits. Instead, he targets the idea of using resources from white people to contribute to overturning this reality. This is the point of view of the colonizer, comfortable in their tree-lined communities with no understanding or connection to the reality of what millions of young African people experience. The basketball court we plan to build in North St. Louis will include bleachers and benches, lighting, fencing, a sign and a mural and other amenities our community deserves. It is reactionary cynicism, white nationalism, and total complicity and unity with the U.S. government's ongoing assault on our revolution. These types of attacks are no different from the FBI's counterinsurgency program of the 1960s, known as COINTELPRO, that was launched in to silence and attack the African Revolution, a revolution supported by the majority of African people, millions of white people, and progressive and revolutionary governments around the world. It was counterinsurgency war that resulted in the assassinations and imprisonments of our leaders and freedom fighters. The African People's Socialist Party salutes all those who marched in Oakland on October 16th. 
We are building the Black Power Blueprint in North St. Louis as a part of our international struggle to capture political and economic power over our resources and lives. All of the reparations work under our leadership is transferring resources away from the colonizer and into the hands of our anti-colonial African working class economy. We call on white people to defend and uphold the African community's right to struggle for our own liberation and self-determination. We call on you to distinguish yourselves from the pawns of white power and turn your backs on the white ruling class and its minions. Join the Uhuru Solidarity Movement Join the fight for white reparations to African people.